Hey guys, Pankaj Narad this side and it's time to learn with RPN. Today, I am here to tell you the major difference between three important states of Docker containers. These states are pause, stop and kill. Let's start with pause first. To pause a container, we have a command docker pause container id. If you run this command, then signal stop is sent. And this signal stops all the process of that container. In other words, this command is used to pause the container. As a result, process stops functioning. However, it still keeps memory portion so that container can use that memory if we unpause that container with a command docker unpause container id. Now question is, when should we pause container? We should pause container if we don't need that container this time but needs in near future. Now let's talk what happens if we stop and kill any container. Once you run a command docker stop container id, this command will send termination signal. It stops the container gracefully. For example, you are shutting down your laptop. But if you run a command docker kill container id, then kill signal is sent. It stops the container forcefully. For example, turning off the laptop forcefully from its battery. Now I am telling the major difference between stop and kill. If you are going with stop command, then docker has 10 seconds to clean up, like saving files, right? But if you are going with kill command, then it is not possible for docker to do so. Now question is, when should we go for kill command? You should use kill command only in that situation when container is not responding. I mean, kill command should be last resort for you. Guys, I hope you have come to know what is the major difference between these three states of container. In case you still have any doubt, please comment me. And in case you are new visitor, please subscribe this channel and share this with maximum friends. Have a nice time.